Forest Ranger discovers hidden secrets deep within a secluded woodland that leads him to a strange structure. When Environmental Service Director Mark Andre was exploring the Arcana Community Forest in California, he came across something remarkable that would stop him in his tracks. In preparation for the forest harvest, Andre spent his career learning every inch of this forest but was shocked to discover something he'd never seen in these woods before. While deep in the forest marking trees for harvest, Andre noticed a shadowy object enveloped in the trees. Stunned to discover something foreign in the woods, he moved closer to get a better look. As he inched his way closer, Andre couldn't believe what he was standing in front of. He thought he knew the forest inside and out, but now he wasn't so sure. Mark Andre hadn't explored this section of the forest since 1985 as it was so deep in the wilderness. But on this day, he was staring at something that made the forest a lot more intriguing. Miles inside the depths of the woods lay a makeshift wooden cabin with a padlock suturing the entrance. Curious and suspicious, Andre wondered what could be inside but had no idea. Although he was fascinated to find something so skillfully built in the middle of the woods, he was concerned that it was built on private property which would ultimately make it illegal. As a forest ranger, Andre was used to finding debris from makeshift huts made by people seeking shelter in the woods. But this was no ordinary hut. This was a mini home that was built with great care and attention to detail. The quaint wooden cabin was impressively decorated with a peaked roof and a front porch accompanied by an awning. The inside walls were protected by plywood and tarps along with windows. The entire cabin was about 8 by 12 feet and stood about 15 feet tall. I didn't see it until I was 12 feet from it, Marc Andre explained in an interview. It's in the perfect out of the way spot where it wouldn't be detected. Andre's comment makes it clear the only way the builder could have constructed this without anybody knowing was because of its desolate location. Andre noticed there were no signs of littering or environmental destruction, which are common when discovering huts or dens in the woods. Whoever lived here respected this land as their home. Andre also noticed zero signs of footpaths or trails surrounding the site, an indication the owner never wanted it to be found. Andre was very eager to take a look inside but couldn't be certain the cabin was empty. He decided to call forest technicians Javier Noguera and Nick Manfredonia for assistance along with park ranger Heidi Grossman. With the help of his colleagues, Andre and his team cut the padlock of the door and prepared themselves for what or who could possibly be inside. Also, if you have not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these real-life stories every day. Now, back to the story. With her gun drawn, park ranger Heidi Grossman shouted Arcata Police to prompt a response, but no one replied. The team then began to investigate inside the cabin to figure out who its owner was. The group quickly noticed just how tidy and well-kept the interior of this cute little lodge was. Jars of cooking ingredients neatly lined the kitchen shelves and it was clear the team was standing in somebody's handcrafted home. In the living room area, there was a kettle and next to it a wooden chair. The owner even had a pot-bellied stove for cooking and keeping the cabin warm. With all of these amenities, it seemed sure that someone was currently living in this hidden home. Continuing their exploration, the group discovered a bookshelf that gave them a clue as to how old the house's owner was. Books like Catch Me If You Can and Medicinal Plants suggested the resident of the cabin was an older person. The person who seemingly lived so comfortable in this house also had a stack of old cassette tapes, but the team was suspicious as to who exactly owned all these items and what their story was. Along the walls inside the cabin, there were posters with inspirational messages and political opinions, giving the team more of an insight into who lived there. One poster titled Different Everywhere featured an image of a nude woman holding a knife that read, Every community creates its own outlaws. The team of forest technicians and park rangers even found a handwritten note with a list of things to do and get. The list included build bench, extend brush wall, get tongs, and even the date 41714, with some of the chores not yet ticked off. The team were beginning to establish a timeline for how long the cabin had been occupied. They found a copy of Humboldt State University's The Lumberjack newspaper dated March 25, 2015. While investigating the cabin, the group identified two driver's licenses and thought they discovered the creator of this eccentric little house. However, the licenses belonged to two different people and sadly didn't lead the team to find the owner, and little did they know the team was quickly running out of time to gather evidence. While the team was aware that this home was somebody's prized possession, they also had to follow the laws which stated the cabin was built on private property of a nature reserve and therefore illegally constructed. Andre and his team left an eviction notice for the occupant and walked away from the cabin, giving the owner the time to leave the property. 
Shortly after, on a later date, the authorities returned to the cabin to check into the occupant and ensure they were leaving the premises. However, to their surprise, there was no cabin to be found. The owner of the wooden cabin hastily dismantled and packed up all of their belongings before authorities returned. According to one of the environmental service rangers, that's the cleanest camp cleanup I've ever seen. There wasn't a nail, not even a gum wrapper left behind. The only thing that was left was a poignant message for authorities. The only thing the inhabitant of the secluded cabin left behind was a charcoal-drawn squatter symbol. The symbol, which originated in 1979, symbolizes the occupants of an abandoned or unoccupied building or area of a land. Sadly, the person who left the symbol at the side of the cabin was making a clear message to the authorities that this had been their home. Although the authorities never figured out who lived there, the clues to who did certainly paint the picture of an impressively artistic person who enjoyed their solitude, a classical novel, and being surrounded by nature. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone who may find it interesting too. Thanks again and we'll see you in the next one.